right, so we're on to our last section. This is how to integrate coding with other subjects. And if you're a teacher who has been tasked with starting a coding program at your school, but you also teach other subjects, I understand why this might feel like a huge task. Um, you're already teaching a ton of subjects and now you have to teach code, which might be something you're not as familiar with. And I want to go over this section of the presentation because it's a lot easier than you might think. Um, the field of computer science is already totally integrated with math, science, English. A lot of these core concepts from math, science, and English also are core content in computer science. So the connection exists already. You are not responsible for finding the connection and forcing them yourself. You just need to find the right resources that can do it for you or that can help you. And that's what I'm hoping to share with you now. So like I said, coding integration works and is really intuitive because the field of computer science is naturally integrated without any work from you. That said, there are ways to provide students with a little bit more, I guess I would call it structured integration to help them see those connections that already exist, or in other words, make those connections more visible. My recommendation if you are just starting out with coding is to use coding as a project-based way to apply other subject knowledge. So teaching math, for example, and also teaching code, both subjects might feel overwhelming. My recommendation is to not get caught up thinking that you need to teach both concepts separately, but rather reframe it for students and show them how you can use code to explore math. So I'll give an example. Um, let's say you teach a math lesson and you're talking about different shapes and you've like talked about the shapes and you do your little lesson on the shapes. You can use coding as a project-based application of the math concept of shapes. So in that, uh, the green coding mission number three thumbnail that you see on the screen here, that's a thumbnail from a video that we created where students create shapes using a coding program in Codable. And so that's a good example of how you could teach a math lesson and then do a coding project. You're not necessarily teaching the coding, you know, what sequence and conditions are, but kids are getting familiar with code. They're seeing how coding can be used as a tool to explore other subjects further. So that's one way that integration can be really effective, especially when you're starting out. Do not feel like you need to teach completely different lessons for coding and completely different lessons for your other subjects. They can be taught and they can emphasize each other. You can teach them at the same time. So other thumbnails that you see here, these are all examples of coding missions. That's a, a creative project-based challenges that we pose at Codable and we're really big on integration. Um, you can find a lot of these videos on our videos page. Perhaps Bree could drop that in the chat for you guys so you can take a look. Um, but examples might be in that upper left-hand corner is an integration between coding and art. Um, next, the storytelling with conditions that integrates coding and ELA. In the lower left, we have uh, coding and physical education. So um, that's an option. And then the two uh, smaller frames that you see here, those are snapshots of worksheets that have to do with Halloween and Thanksgiving, which is a good segue to the second type of integration that I recommend, which is holiday celebrations. So this is another easy way to bring coding into your classroom that is lower lift. And holidays in school, there's sometimes a really fun opportunity to do something special for a day, a special project. And I would say that if you're interested in starting coding, but you're not really sure where to fit it into your schedule, doing a coding project that is related to a holiday is a really great way to do a first step you know, at that time, your students are in the holiday spirit, you are too, you're ready to try something new. So it's it's a good option. At Codable, we have a ton of video lessons and activities for most of the major holidays and examples on this screen include Halloween, Pi Day, Valentine's Day, and um, Earth Day. And you can see too that Pi Day and Earth Day videos, those are both also going to be really good subject integrations for math and science. So again, holidays might be a good chance for you to feel out integration, see how it goes, and based on how it goes, you can make a plan to, to do some more in-depth integration. Mm -hmm.